Watford City nil. Barnsley, one. Chesterfield, three. Swindon Town, two. Coventry City, three. Blackpool, nil. Crew Alexandra, nil. Berry, two. Doncaster Rovers, two. Walsall, one. Millwall, three. Fleetwood Town, nil. Oldham Athletic, one. Peterborough United, two. Rochdale, one. Colchester United, nil. Scunthorpe United, two. Gillingham, one. Sheffield United, one. Port Vale, nil. Shrewsbury Town, two. Burton Albion, one. Southend United, nil. Wigan Athletic, one. Let's see what that means for the league tables. At the top of the table remain Barnsley with 12 points. In second, Peterborough United with 10 points. In third, Scunthorpe United. In fifth, Shrewsbury Town. Town with eight points. In sixth, Millwall with seven points. In seventh, Berry with seven points. In eighth, Port Vale with seven points. Bottom of the table, Burton Albion with no points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Oldham Athletic with two points. Third bottom, Chesterfield with three points. Fourth bottom, Bradford City with three points. Fifth bottom, Coventry City with three points. Well, this is a game from the League One. I'm Martin Tyler, and Alan Smith is with me. Pleasure to be here, Martin. Can't wait. Blackpool in action today, and they play Rochdale. This is the Blackpool team for this match. Well, it's pretty fashionable these days, isn't it? The 4-3-3 three, three. gives you the three in midfield, which managers like to have that extra solidity. Yeah, that's right. I'm just looking at the two wide lads up top. They are more central strikers trying to do a job. Be interested to see how they get on. It's looking good, this move. Here comes the cross, and he heads it for goal. Oh, well, credit for the effort, the intention, but the technique was poor.
poor touch and the possession's gone away. Home team have some work to do because they've lost their last two games. They've got home advantage and they need to win today. Yeah, they do, put a pressure on them in front of their own fans, but uh, I fancy them to do it here, actually. Punched away by the goalkeeper. And he claims the cross. It was, well, it's, nothing's ever straightforward for goalkeepers, but he's uh, not been challenged. On to the attack now. Opportunity now. And they've scored, that's the first goal of the game. They simply stroke that one home, giving the keeper no chance. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? So the first goal, it's 1-0. A goal from uh, Barnsley. It's a goal for Barnsley. 22 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. And it will go into the middle now. It wasn't very good control, they've lost the ball. Cross it. Good take by the goalkeeper, but no pressure on him. He's got his shot off now. Potts. Now Wilson. That's a serious situation. He can cross it now. Oliver. And he's presented the ball to the opposition. Goal news from Walsall. It's a goal for Chesterfield. 40 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Rose. Great passage of passing play there. Cross coming in now, and he's up for the header, and no wonder they celebrate, that is the equaliser. It was a wonderful watch, that goal. Well, it's come in from a long way out, and from that angle it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. Oh, it's a brilliant header. It is uh, level, well the referee is blown for half-time at 1-1. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first? <laughs> 45 minutes still to go, second half underway. Goal news involving Barnsley. It's a second goal for Barnsley. 48 minutes, please. 2-1. Thank you very much, Alan. And a chance maybe to get their noses in front. Didn't quite happen. On the transfer front, this is big news. It is Neymar. He is on the move.
he has signed for Paris Saint-Germain. Exciting deal this for the fans and for his teammates. Around £70 million. Money well spent, I think. Here's Wilson. One back very quickly. Rose. And the away team want to make a change. Great passing. And the crowd really enjoying it. Time for the substitutes, I think, and the substitution for the home team here. And it's Wilson giving the ball away now. Attacking now. Here's Bennett. Well, it's very good positional play, and he's uh, read the situation perfectly with that interception. This is how they love to play on the break, and here's the shot. What a fine save! And it's going to be his throw here. Substitution. He has got the opportunity to change the tactics as well as the players with some movement from the bench. The ball to Duck. Well, that's a good challenge between the two of them there. Oliver. To Allen. You're thinking for the away side, time for a change. Not a nice challenge for the ref, too. And he's got on the score sheet, hasn't he? And now he's getting off the pitch. Oh, you feel good about that. A really strong and clean tackle. Oliver. Is this going to end level or are we going to get a winner in the closing minutes? It'd be tough for any team to lose this, but what a win it would be if there is a successful side. That's a splendid clearance. Here's Bennett. for the free kick it's yellow from the ref oh without question and the added time will amount to three minutes at least they've opened them up here the very best time to get in front with a goal this late in the game What a sickness for the opposition, but what jubilation for the scorer and his team. Yeah, I mean, they kept on going and they got their reward in the end. Oh, talk about timing. They left it late. That is a big, big goal.
Well, a very exciting climax to an exciting game. This could be the decider. Well, it could be at this stage of the match. There doesn't seem much of an opportunity to come back. And that could be decisive. And we're looking at the referee, and there goes the final whistle. And the match has finished here 2 1. Great example here of counter attacking football, Alan. They drew the opposition onto them. They did, and they have got. English Football League 1, Barnsley 2, Southend United 1, Blackpool 2, Rochdale 1, Burton Albion 2, Oldham Athletic 1, Bury 1, Millwall 1, Colchester United 0, Sheffield United 1, Fleetwood Town 1, Shrewsbury Town 0, Gillingham 1, Coventry City 1, Peterborough United 1, Doncaster Rovers, nil. Port Vale, two. Bradford City, one. Swindon Town, nil. Scunthorpe United, nil. Walsall, two. Chesterfield, one. Wigan Athletic, four. Crew Alexandra, one. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Barnsley with 15 points. In second, Peterborough United with 13 points. In third, Wigan Athletic with 11 points. In fourth, Scunthorpe United with 10 points. In fifth, Port Vale with 10 points. In sixth, Blackpool with 9 points. In seventh, Millwall with 8 points. In eighth, Bury with 8 points. Bottom of the table, Oldham Athletic with 2 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Burton Albion with 3 points. Third bottom, Chesterfield with 3 points. Fourth bottom, Bradford City with 3 points. Fifth bottom, Crew Alexandra with four points. Hi there, everybody. Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith is alongside me. League One football for you today. Alan. Delighted to be here, Martin. Looking forward to it. Well, the home team have a problem. They can't get goals. And actually, in the division itself, they are the lowest scorers. Well, you can blame the forwards, but you know, the service to them has been shocking at times. Now you've got your chance to check on the lineup for the home team. So, Alan, 4-4-2. Four, four, yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape. It's the one that the manager prefers. This is the Blackpool team for this match. Well, it's pretty fashionable these days, isn't it? The 4-3-3 three, three. gives you the three in midfield, which managers like to have that extra solidity. Yeah, that's right. I'm just looking at the two wide lads up top. They are more central strikers trying to do a job. Be interested to see how they get on. We can tell he knows the game. He had a sixth sense there to get to the right position and nick the ball. Possession given away once more. Attacking now. The 
score! You can only put it behind for the quarter. It's a goalkeeper who's asserted himself from the corner. The defenders love that. Jose Baxter. Voice. Referee's given a corner. Smart work by the goalkeeper from the corner. That's a turnover in play. Jose Baxter. He's crossed it well. And it's a headed effort at goal. Good header, couldn't keep it down. No, never really threatened to get over it. Couldn't climb high enough. Yeah, the way they played in those pre. Gonna try it! That's taken the heat out of the situation for the moment with that interception. Clearly a throw. Not quite clear whose throw it is. Harris. And no direct threat to his goal this time. Well, you can see what he was trying to do, but the pass wasn't on. It was a, a bad ball, as it turned out. On the attack here. Great play from the attacker. This might be it. They're still in trouble here. What a brilliant goal. And it's a gloriously composed side foot, that isn't it, really taking the keeper out of the, the situation. He could do nothing to stop that. A good look here, again, by the replay of the goal. And that has opened the scoring, 1-0 here. News of a goal from Millwall. It's a second goal for Millwall. 35 minutes played, 2-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Cameron. And it's Wilson. Real good contest between these two. As the Space for the shot. At full extension, the goalkeeper makes the save. Corner now. He's got it away. And this is going to be a throw. No doubt about it, a hand was used. Now Edgar. And Harris. Wilson, the break is definitely on. He's got his shot off now. Great stop. It's a heading chance now. Sharp. He's seen it. Handball. Well, that's half time at 1 0. Well, they've been scoring, but they haven't scored enough.
It's the start now of the second half. David Edgar. Harris. Players limbering up for the away team. Substitution in the offing. And Harris. Tremendous understanding from these players. Now the shot! And the goalkeeper got a touch to that. Fine save. A drastic decision here from the manager to use all the substitutes that he's allowed in one go. The corner and a poor one. Well, the defending team handled that so easily. You expected more. Herod. Cameron. Great tackle. Good forward play from them. Here's the cross. And here's the shot. Well, he's missed the target by some distance in the end. game can be influenced so often by substitutes the home team are going to perhaps gamble on that working for them now throw in here and that's going to be another throw in and Harris Booking from the referee, yellow card. Well, maybe on another day he could have had a little quiet word, but uh, out comes the card. Well, he's got his fist to it. Able to make a good interception. Thomas. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. And the cross coming in. Well, the ball deserved perhaps a better response from his teammates in the middle. The defender got there first, though. Cameron. Here's a chance. Corner given after that tackle. Decent fist away by the keeper. Shot off! That's brilliant work from the goalkeeper, not for the first time today. Time is ticking away here, and they haven't got too much of it left to deal in. The fans, though, racking up the atmosphere. Yeah, just important now that they don't launch long balls forward, that they keep their patience and try and fashion an opening. Sending off to tell you about at Chesterfield. It's a sending off for Peterborough United. They're down to ten men. Seven minutes remain. It remains 2-0. Thank you very much, Alan. That's going to run on through to the goalkeeper. He's going to try it. On narrow margins in the match and in this incident. Yeah, not far off. That would have made a difference to the outcome if it had gone in. Three minutes left of the 90-minute match. They've opened them up here. He scored! And that's flown past the keeper before really he could react. 
restarting at 2-0. The added time will be four minutes. And uh, the game drawing to a close. Another look at the goal, yes. <laughs> and shoots! Very close. And there we are, final whistle. English Football League 1, Barnsley 1, Wigan Athletic 1, Bradford City 1, Colchester United 2, Chesterfield 0, Peterborough United 2.